Folks, welcome to Independence. My name's Ralph Goldsmith. I'm the wagon master of Pioneer Trails Adventures. I'm outside the National Frontier Trails Museum. Well, here's our mayor, Don Rimmel. How you doing, Ralph? Oh, well, good, Don. How you? What are you up to today? Well, I just came up to see what I could learn about the pioneers that settled the West. Well, you know, over 400,000 people made that journey from this city right here. They left on the Santa Fe, California, Oregon Trail. They bought their supplies and outfitted their wagons right here in Independence. Last time I was here, I had my grandchildren with me, and they were interested in the pelts that were brought in. And then they tried to pack their wagon. Yeah. I don't think they ever did get it quite I packed you, right. Packing that wagon's an art, you know. You know, those pioneers, they're the ones who made us a nation from sea to shining sea. And our children need to know the struggles and the hardships they went through. Matter of fact, adults and children both can learn those struggles and hardships right here in this museum. Plus, I can come over and see the 1879 Chicago Alton Station. Yeah, yeah Don, I've got to go. i got some folks that are wanting to hear some stories of Jayhawkers and Bushwhackers and the James Gang. I'm sure you've got plenty of stories. We tell a few about Harry Truman, too. That's all right. <laughs> Happy trails. Happy trails to you. Just across the street from the National Frontier Trails Museum is the historic Bingham Wagner Estate. This was the home of the famous Missouri artist and activist George Caleb Bingham. Most of the furnishings in its 31 rooms are original to the home. A few miles north is the Vale Mansion, built by frontier business tycoon Harvey Vale in 1881. This opulent home is one of the finest examples of Second Empire Victorian architecture in the nation. Other early settlers to independence were religious pioneers. In 1830, the Mormons began arriving to build their Zion, or City of God. Learn more about them at the Mormon Visitor Center. In 1920, Independence became the headquarters of the Reorganized Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, now known as the Community of Christ. The church built two major Independence landmarks, the Temple and the Auditorium. Daily tours of both are available at no charge. Independence is home to several other historic churches, including the First Presbyterian Church, where President Harry Truman first met his wife, Bess, and the Trinity Episcopal Sanctuary, where they were married. Get a glimpse into the Truman's personal life with a tour of their home on Delaware Street, where Harry and Bess lived before and after his presidency. Learn more about this remarkable man who became our nation's 33rd president at the Harry S. Truman Library and Museum. Visitors can watch newsreels, tour a replica of the Oval Office, and learn about tough decisions Truman had to make during his presidential years. In the courtyard, visitors can pay their respects at the Truman family graves. In the heart of Independence is the historic Independence Square, home to one-of-a-kind restaurants and shops. You'll also find the 1859 jail and Marshall's home, which housed thousands of prisoners, including William Quantrill and Frank James. The square is also home to the annual Santa Caligon Days Festival, held over Labor Day weekend. Nearly a quarter of a million people attend this free family event to sample all kinds of festival food and shop the huge arts and crafts tents. Enjoy a ride on the Ferris wheel at the Carnival Midway or sit next to an open fire with historic reenactors. Local and nationally known entertainers perform throughout the weekend. Halloween begins early and lasts all month long in Independence. Every Friday evening, you can hitch a ride on our covered wagon for a haunted tour of the square. The Enchanted Forest, located at the George Owens Nature Park, provides a non-scary alternative featuring popular cartoon, nursery rhyme, and comic book vignettes. We hope you've enjoyed this taste of fall and independence. For information on all of our attractions and events and discount coupons, go to visitindependence.com or call Independence Tourism at 325-7111.